Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, create a vertical navigation bar uh, in Windows form uh, using uh, C-sharp.net. So first step, let's get started. So first step will be to go ahead and create a Windows form application. Let's call a vertical navigation bar. Go ahead and click OK. Oops. So let's see. I already have one. So vertical navigation bar number two for me. Make sure you click a Windows form app here. Go ahead and click OK. Wait until it builds your project. Okay, now that we have our form here set up, you can resize it, you can kind of do whatever you want. I like to make it, I, mean, I like to make it a little bit bigger to give me some more, to, to show you guys better details of what, what I need to do. Alright, so let's just get started and click on the toolbox. I have the toolbox up here. I'm not sure where you guys have yours. And just type menu. And you're going to put in a menu strip up on top, right? So this will be a menu strip. So right click on this menu strip and go ahead and click insert standard items. Okay. So I like to have uh, two different, uh, two different uh, menu strip, one on top, one on the right side. So what I'll show you, I'll show you a, uh, uh, Adobe Reader, so it has one on top up here, there's this one, the file one, there's this one, and then there's the one on the right side. I'm going to show you how to create one similar to this one on the right side. So once I've created this, I go ahead and make a copy of this menu strip here, and go ahead and uh, paste it. So now you should have two menu strips. We're not going to be using two this way. So on the bottom one, go ahead and right click on the bottom one, click properties. Properties should show up on the right side here. And what you're going to do, you're going to go to the dock options. Instead of a uh, top, changing to right, which is this one here. So now you can see, you, you know, the, 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 the navigation bar, the menu strip, dock all the way to the right. Now, if you click out of it, it's going to be small and ugly. So make sure you click, you select it. Go to auto size and remove. You don't want it true. You want you want it to be false. Go ahead and set it to false, and then you can resize whatever size you want. Right. So as you can see now, it, it, I mean it still looks pretty simple, plain and simple, but it's a vertical uh, navigation bar on this side. So let's make a little bit. Th th let's make it look like a little better. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these items because they have submenus to them. So I'm going to have to delete them. I'm going to right click. I'm going to right click on the on the menu strip. Uh, click edit items. And for now, I'm just going to add one menu item. Okay, and click OK. So I right click on this menu item, click properties, and let's to remove the out of size property out of it. So let's put an image just to make it look nicer. So I click right click on it, set images, local resources. I have a couple of uh, images here already saved up. So I'm gonna put a settings picture. So let's go ahead and change the settings, right? And let's make a little bigger, 45. Settings, yeah, let's do like 40, size 40, okay. And let's make sure I put size to fit none. This, you know, this only works with my size on my picture. So you guys might have to use size to fit, you know, it, it varies. So I have a settings button now. So let's add another one. I'll just add a couple more and just control C, control V right now. So let's go ahead and set image, import. Uh, so just, just, you know, add user button, 
Put another one here, set image. All right, let's name this one, edit users, edit user. Property, oops, so set image, import, <clears throat> and let's do delete user. This is just an example where I'm not really doing much with it. Delete user. So now this is what's gonna look like. So once I once I run my pro I, once I build and run my project. Alright, bear with me here. Once I build around the project, you see two different, uh, you know, navigation bars. A horizontal one, which is the main one with file, edit, tools, and help, and the vertical one. These are these are these work like buttons. So you can just there are click events for each one of these. You can actually put sub menus like these if you wanted to. Uh, let's I'm, I'll go ahead and insert a list view in the middle here. So let's go ahead to my toolbox again and search for list. Click list view. Make sure you click this arrow here. Or if you right click on it, click properties and this docky dock and click fill. So sometimes what you see, it's the list you might go underneath this menu here, this navigation bar. So make sure you click, you right click right click the menu the navigation bar click bring to front and then you see how it said the, it's behind the navigation bar so you right click the list view and also bring to front so that way it's all it's always going to be side to side even if you maximize it when you build and run your project let's go i'm going to show you when you maximize it it's uh the list view it's still in front it's not behind it so as you can see the list view ends right here and uh, just one more feature that I like to have when I create a side navigation bar like this or vertical na navigation bar. So I'm gonna have and create another menu here and I'm gonna name it toggle. And then I'll double click on it just to, to pull up the code of the, the click for the toggle button. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna hide the the, uh, the navigate the vertical navigation bar on demand. So it's menu strip. If menu strip to visible, if it's visible, then we want to set menu strip visible equals false. Else. We want to set the menu strip visible equals true. So this is what will happen when you run it. All right, so let's just say, for example, I have a list view here that has items that are past the screen and I need to hide this you know, navigation bar here on the, the vertical navigation bar. So with that code that I just added, you click toggle and hides it and puts it back on. As you can see, the list view does not go back on top or behind the navigation bar. So let's just to finish the sample here, I'll add a, uh, I will add a combo box and I'll add a text box. Okay. And if you guys go to edit items, you can also, if you guys right click on the menu strip and click edit items, you can always see the, also the items you can add. Right. So here, but as you can see, it looks kind of funky if they have no labels. And if you go edit items, you don't see label here. So the way I get label for my menu strip, I actually go to to the toolbox, toolbox status bar, status strip. So I add a status strip. So I click, click, on, uh, cl click on a status label. I right click on it, I copy. And let's paste two. One of them, it's gonna be 
I'll put one up here, oops, one up here and name this one properties type of user. It's just a random title. And this one I'll just put search. So that way it's a, it's sort of like a search box. And then I delete this uh, status bar. And let's run one more time. There we go. Now you have it. Oh, let's do one more thing here. I'm going to have to remove this, the border of the list field to, to look a little better. So I'll put a none here. So now it should look much better. All right. So now here's our final project. This is what it's going to look like. There's a menu strip, a, a horizontal navigation bar with the, you know, uh, standard items. And there's a vertical uh, ver vertical navigation bar on the right side with the, a drop down combo box and with the search text box. There's no function. There's no functionality behind it, but you can add whatever, you know, whatever you need it for. You can maximize it. Everything stays in place. You can minimize it. You know, you can minimize as much as you want. Everything stays in the same place. Um, and that's it for today. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, just drop a comment below. Thank you very much.